Hey there After Effects buddies, I've been asked to do an updated version of the head replacement tutorial, this time using still images instead of video for the head. Okay, so we've got this. There's the Donald there. Oh, looks happy. Not too sure. All right. And the trick with these videos is the head's usually quite big and the animation is usually quite rough to kind of enhance the comedy, I guess. Okay, and I've set this up in such a way that I've got a controller layer that with a checkbox. Here's my checkbox. And I can animate this very easily just by clicking this box, okay, to change the head. All right. So, let's do the keyframe. Let's create the head. So, I'm going to do a new composition. And I'll just make it like 300 by 300. Okay, and I'm going to call this head. Okay, five seconds, just a short animation. And I'm going to drag in one of these images. Okay, and I'm going to scale it down. I can use transform if it's comp width. There we go. Maybe uh, even a little bit more. There we are. Just scale that down a bit. Rotate it. If I hit the W key, that's the shortcut. Kind of get it. Something like this. Okay, just uh, play about. Okay, to fill the frame. That should do fine. And then take the other image. Again, I can drop that in. Let's just uh, scale this down. So they're about the same. Okay. Now that's our head. So now here's my Titanic footage. And I'm going to set this up with a controller object, a null object with a checkbox to make the animation of the head changing really quick and easy. So I'm going to do a layer, a new null object, and I'll call this one by hitting return. I'll name this head controller. And I'm also going to need another null object for the tracking. So I may as well do that now. I'll do layer, new, null object, and I'll call this one a tracking controller. Okay, that's just setting that one up for later. Now for this head controller, I'm going to go into my effects and I'm going to add a checkbox control effect to this. So I'll click on that checkbox control and there it is. And I'm going to lock this window to make sure it remains visible. So there's my little lock up the top left and jump back in to my head composition. Okay, so I'm going to use the opacity value here to control whether the head is on or off. Let's just uh, fit that. Okay, it might make that a bit a bit smaller. That's it. Just, just to make sure I get the hair in. We don't want to miss the hair. Okay. So I'm going to add an expression. So to do that I can alt click on the stopwatch for opacity. And I'm first of all going to type in the word if so I F or lowercase and then open brackets. And then I can just use the pick whip to drag that up from here up to my checkbox. Okay. And then that's now referencing the checkbox, even though it's in the other comp, that's fine. So we're saying if this checkbox equals something, so if I type the equal sign twice, uh, it needs for whatever reason. Okay, so twice. So let's say if it equals one, so that's when it is ticked to get a value of one. Okay, and close that bracket. We'll say that we've got 100% opacity, so it's on. Else, or else, so just type the word else, or lowercase, zero. So it's either 100 or zero, depending on whether the checkbox is on or off. Okay, and then to close the expression, I'll just type a semicolon. And I can click out of that. Okay, so now I can click the checkbox and we get this. But I also want to make the other one disappear when one of them is on. So I'm just going to right click on the word opacity and choose copy expression only. Okay, and I'm going to hit command V on the other layer, 
paste it to that. If I press E twice, that will show me my expression and just reverse the numbers. So this time 100 becomes 0 and 0 becomes 100. So just retype those in. 100. Oh, I typed an O, not a 0. Pardon me. There we go. So then I can click on here and we swap images. Okay, so that's all set up, ready to rock. So now we just need to track the motion of Kate's head there. So let's go to track motion and I'll just do a, a track box sort of around the head area. I'll do this that quickly. I could spend more time perhaps if, smoothing it out, but let's just do it rough and ready. That's the normal way with these things. Okay, and I'm going to select my target for this. Oh, it is as the tracking controller. So apply that. Okay, so I can now bring in the head, drop that into my comp. I'll scale it down. I say it's usually the heads are kind of bigger on these things for comedic purposes, I guess. Okay, so I'll pop it in the right place. Somewhere around there. Parent that to my tracking controller. Okay, and that should play and sort of stay in the right place. A few little wobbles, but I could always go back and iron those out. But just for today, for the tutorial, we can not worry about that. Or I could always just hit the U key here on the tracking controller. In a few little wobbles there. I can always just take a few keyframes and usually just sort of... Uh, Deleting a few will just, there you go, usually fixes things like that. Okay. And I'll also, just because the head's getting closer to the camera, I'll also just add a couple of keyframes for scale, just so it gradually, just a small amount, scales up a little bit as the comp grows. So that'll give us... And I might even remove a few extra keyframes. Okay. So we've got a rough and ready track there. I've got Donald here. And now we've got this head controller layer. So I can just open the checkbox for that. So I press E for effects. Checkbox control. And I quite often like to just drag it down to say. Uh, just unlock that. And drag it the window down maybe to here, something like that. So it's just underneath the composition. So it's very easy to access. Okay, and now I can just, let's start with this. Okay, add, add a keyframe. And let's go, okay, oh, arms about, it's happy. Okay, so I'll just tick. And but we're getting a bit seasick, not too sure. So I can tick, and then we've got ourselves a simple way to set up an image so that we can quickly uh, animate between two images and have it tracked onto a head. And off you go. So I hope that's proved useful and uh, happy after effects in.